Yo, Cloud, here. We got the PHS, the phones. Uh, party hop system. Whatever it's supposed to stand for, I'm not sure. Sweet... Sweet Dice Dion? Sweet Dice Dion, thank you so much for the follow. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, we just got the phone. We just got ourselves a cell phone. Finished the flashback at Nibelheim. We're about to finally, finally head out. PHS will put us in, con in constant contact with each other. All right then, we're out of here. Okay, so now that that flashback is done, there's lots of stuff to actually do here in Calm real quick. Lots of things to collect. Let's make sure we get it all. Oh, this is your favorite game of all time, huh? Really? Then what do you think of Remake? So, check the house to the right of the end. Or the end, we'll find an ether. Nice. Um, get another ether in the house to the right of that. In the middle of the row of three. We'll let the dog out. This is locked. Locked, can't open it. Oh well. So, I'm going for 100-ish percent here. Have you ever tried to, to go for 100%? And what do you consider to be 100%? Because that's, that's why I call it 100-ish percent. Because there's doesn't seem to be any official consensus on what 100% is. Remake was a little different, but very good. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what they have in the next game. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. At some point, I need to actually play Remake myself. I've watched it, but I haven't played it. Um, in the final house in the row, you'll find... A Peacemaker and a guard source. Excellent. So we'll grab this. Peacemaker. And then where is the guard source again? It's around here somewhere. Is it up here? Probably. Ah, here we go. Got it. Don't mind us, we're just raiding houses. Just stealing everybody's goods. We're just thieves running around. Um, you'll find another ether in the house on the other side of the square. I'm using a checklist, by the way, to help me remember everything, quite frankly. Got an ether again. Because there's so much stuff to remember. I can't really... You can't just do 100%-ish. It's not that simple. Um, and I think that's it. We just have to go to the store. Yeah, just gotta buy some stuff. What's in here? Oh yeah, the bar. We don't need that. Well, 
Let's see what they have for us. This is the item store. We don't need potions, don't need Phoenix Downs, Antidotes, Eye Drops, Hypers, Tranquilizers. Eh, we could go with two of those to match the two Hypers we have. Tents, we still have four. I think we're good good on that for now. Eh, we'll buy one of each, just in case. That should be plenty of items. We shouldn't need anything else. Yeah, have you played any other Final Fantasy games? Uh, Sweet, I'm gonna go ahead and call you Sweet, if you don't mind. This is the Materia store. Uh, we don't really need an Earth Materia. I'm still in place 6, 10, 13. Huh, really? I haven't gotten around to them. Um. I personally wouldn't recommend 6, but a lot of people swear by it, so I would say go ahead. 10, I hear, is good, except the ending. Uh, 13 is terrible. Do yourself a huge favor. Don't play 13. Any of those games. Um... So we don't really need earth. We already have poison. Like, I guess we could buy earth, but it would really just be for collecting it because we're not, we don't really need it. We already have steel. We have plenty of sense. Honestly, I want to get rid of one of the ones we have. Uh, heal we do need. Okay, we, we actually do need a heal materia though. 100%. Uh, honestly, the one that you didn't, um... Thirteen's better as a movie, Thirteen Two is was good, Thirteen Three was eh. <laughs> I wouldn't even be that generous, Aurora. Honestly, I'm surprised, uh, that Nine wasn't on that list. I would say, from what I've seen, Seven is the best Final Fantasy, but Nine is the second best. I would play nine if I were you. Uh, forget eight. Just don't, yeah, eight was really bad. Just forget eight exists. Uh, just go to nine. So we do need a heal materia. Uh, I guess I could buy an earth, I suppose, even though I'm pretty sure I'm never going to use it. Oh, uh, hold on, oh, well, yeah, all right, fine. But, we need to still buy weapons and things. Uh... Sky Pirates? Uh, I think you're talking about 12. Yay! 12 was just Final Fantasy Star Wars. Like, I guess you could play it, I guess, but I would just watch it if I were you. Mithril Saber. That's not even as good as the Hard Edge we have. Nice. That's a weapon we don't need to buy. Uh, Cannonball. It's just one problem. That's a close range weapon. I don't want anything close range on Barret. Besides, we're not using Barret for a little bit. Mithril Claw. We do need that. Full Metal Staff. It's actually weaker than what we already have. Mithril bangle. We already have carbon bangles that we stole, so we're fine. Nice. We just needed the one upgrade for Tifa. Let's go ahead and sell some of the stuff we don't need, like the bronze bangles. We don't need either of those. In fact, yeah, guard stick. We don't need that. Found a peacemaker. Uh, I don't think that's any good on on Vincent anyway. Uh, yes. Okay, so I will be getting all the limits and all of the yeah, and I will be getting all the chocobo stuff as well. So yes, Knights of the Round will be included, of course. Um, we don't need, what else do we not need? We don't really need four slots. Four slots is useless. Um, 
with what we have. Hey, your mouth, welcome back. Good to see you. Um, we can go ahead and sell four slots. Yeah, we don't need four slots. Um, is there anything else? What is Ghost Hand? Drains MP out of one opponent. And uh, never found that to be terribly helpful, at least not on my blind playthrough. So I don't think we'll need that either. We don't need Leather Glove. Why would we need that? And uh, we still have four grenades, but I think we're good. Why do I feel like there's something else? Oh yeah, the Mithril Armlets. We don't need four of them anymore. We probably don't even need this one, but just in case. Sell those three right there. And that should do. Let's go ahead and equip Tifa with the brand new weapon we bought. Yeah, I think we're good. I wish I could get another carbon bangle for her, but we couldn't just couldn't manage to steal one. And again, we already stole better weapons for Aerith and for Cloud than all the weapons that are offered here, so we're good to go there. Uh, I do actually want to remove one of these sense materials. We do not need two sense materials. We just don't. So I think I'm actually going to sell one of them. Uh, sense is fine to have. Yeah, we'll keep that one, right? Because that one has, yeah, more AP on it. Yeah, that should do. So real quick, we'll just go ahead and sell those two things. Sell uh, the one sense materia. We just don't need it. We'll then sell those gloves that we just took off of Tifa. Where is it? Yeah, metal knuckle. We don't need that because we have the upgraded stuff. And that will do. So, how many other Final Fantasies have you played, uh, Earmouth? Let me know. What's your favorite one? Uh, Sweet here was just saying that Seven was his favorite. And I recommended Nine to him. Have you played Nine, Earmouth? Tell me. Um, yeah, I think we're all good, right? Yeah. Should be. Time to go to the Chocobo Ranch. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what I need to do. I need to actually equip that materia that we just bought. Uh, I like to have steel up there. Fire, restore, sense. We'll put heal on Aerith, and we'll put Earth on Aerith. Because why not, really? That works. Yeah, eight's pretty garbage. Like, I don't know, maybe eight the game is fine, but like the story is just so trash. It really is, like... Especially towards the end with the whole time loop and compression and people with amnesia bit. It was so confusing. Played seven several times in nine once. That's good. Do you agree with my opinion of nine? Either the best or second best Final Fantasy? I'd say seven and nine are the top two. And have you played six? Because 6 is the one that everybody swears by that I can't stand. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Huh. Fair enough. I liked 9, but never felt drawn back into it. Uh, We're not going to learn beta right now. We're going to learn beta later, <laughs> because... Uh, that guy's tough. Way too tough. 
Uh, we definitely want to save our game, though. After all of that talking and the flashback, we need to save our game. So important. All that stuff finally done. Now let's hurry up over to the Chocobo Ranch, get some stuff. We listen to this awesome overworld music until it's rudely interrupted by these enemies. That was rude. Bolt. Fire. Ice. Smack them all. I need to, I think I need to reorder my, uh, my stuff. There we go. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna do beta right now. We'll come back to beta. I will try the Zolum skip once. Just to attempt it. Just for fun. But probably won't work out of uh, fire, I guess. Limit break. Cross slash. Cut them down to size. Yeah, I need to reorganize my menu. I want attacking stuff on top. Aerith limit break. That's good. Beautiful. Now she's actually doing respectable damage. Oh, you need another one, huh? Get out of here, ostrich with claws. A lot of the... A lot of these things really just look like modified animals. They're just Pokemon. All right. Chocobo Ranch. Now, if I'm not mistaken, speak to the chocobo at the fence and choose the first option. Wark, 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 wark. <laughs> wark. Indeed. What? Uh, I didn't see this in my first playthrough. Anyway, we get the Choco and Mog materia from this. Apparently. Awesome. And with that, I do believe we have our first summon. Yep, as our first summon. I never saw this before. So I'm really curious. All right. Well, that's awesome. All right, let's buy ourselves a chocobo lure. Do you want a chocobo? Give me one. You old fo folks are out of luck. Old folks? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of, of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? How do I catch one? A wild chocobo always appears with other monsters. Blah, 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 blah. I already know how to do this. Main thing is we need to get the actual materia, the lure. Sure. Chocobo lure? There we go. There's the option. 
Chocobo lore is a type of materia which attracts chocobos. If you equip this, they'll come to you, but without it, they won't appear. Let's go through all the dialogue options. I'll sell you a chocobo lure for 2,000 gil right now. I think I have enough. It wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. Uh, how much do I have left though after that? Oh, actually I have a good amount. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh... Huh. Well, let's get something that will definitely hold that chocobo's attention. I believe these are the ones I got in my first playthrough. Let's go ahead and just grab one of those. I hope that works. It should work. It should be enough for us. And just to be absolutely sure that it does, we can always just, uh, we can always just save and make sure that it works. Uh, you can learn level four suicide from a certain enemy out here. Again, I'm not going to be going for enemy skills until after we get manipulate because I want to make sure we can actually get them. Like instead of having to wait for the enemy to use it, like we will come back for the enemy skills, but not right now. Especially because we only have one enemy skill materia. That's why I didn't want to get beta right away. It's just like, I don't want to get beta only to have to... Like, only to have to get it again later. When I get beta, I'm going to get it for like... For like, at least... I want to have at least two, two to three enemy skills before I come back for it. Because beta is actually kind of tough to get. So, we can't, because we can't manipulate the Zolum. Uh, Aqualung we can get much sooner, but... Yeah, we're not going to do beta right away. Save the game. Okay. So before we, uh, before I catch a chocobo, there's something I want to try. There's something I would like to try. First of all, let's just run away from this. I just want to see... I guess I could have used Aerith's thing there, but... What is it? This button, right? And then turn the camera around somehow there we go there we go there we go okay so if i come in here oh no there he is no nope, can't go in yet there's a certain position the speedrunners use to get in here they come like right here uh oh nope dang it Get out of here, get out of here. How long does it take to run away, guys? How long? Nope. Oh, wow, Tifa's just out in one hit. Okay. One more try. Can we get kicked out to here? Ouch. Um, If we can get this just right with the camera. If we stand right here, he'll bounce off. Oh no, ah, if we can get him to go straight. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get him to go straight. The speedrunners actually can get the camera angle adjusted just so. Well, Cloud blocked that hit. But he got dropped for it. Ah. Fine. 
One more try. We have enough Phoenix Downs, why not? There's literally no reason why not, since we have so much. Uh, the camera controls are weird, they're not on the stick. Because this game wasn't designed that way. Um, so I want camera to be facing that way. No, that way, please. Come down here, please. Hit that walk, hit the rock. No, no, ah, don't turn around, no, ah, dang it. The camera is weird to control. But it is possible, I've actually done this. No, it's okay. No, let's actually, yeah, let's just reset. Just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. Oh well. It would have been fun. But it's a pretty it's a pretty uh it's a pretty advanced trick. Let's just get ourselves a chocobo and call it good. There. And right away, how nice. Limit break, heal everybody up. Tifa, go ahead and attack that. Cloud, go ahead and attack that. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. It ran away immediately. Okay. They don't usually run away that quickly. At least not in my experience, they don't. Maybe because it was out in front. That's fine. I was gonna feed it on the next turn. That's fine. We'll just get rid of these guys. Well, next time I'll be more careful. Here, Chocobo, Chocobo. So, Sweet and Earmouth, what other games do you play besides Final Fantasy? Here we go. Um, Cloud. Oh, come on! Really? Well, okay then. That seems pretty cheap. I literally didn't get a chance to select an action. I literally didn't even get an opportunity to select an action. What was that? How was that fair? Also, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and remember the magic order fix I need to do. Attack. Att yeah, attack, restore, and indirect. There we go. Now, come here. Give me a chocobo. Okay. This time... Give it that. Uh... It's not going... She's not going to attack the chocobo, is she? She better not. I swear, if you attack the chocobo... Okay, good.
There we go, right? Caught a chocobo. Excellent. Thank goodness the programmers thought of that. Because Tifa's beat rush doesn't allow you to select the target. All right. There we go. Now we can get through here. Ugh. Let's not fight it. Let's run away from it. There we go. Bye-bye, snake. And this is why the Zolem was so upset. Looks like its mate got killed. Did Sephiroth do this? Amazing. Our enemy is someone that could do this? Yeah, yikes. See you later, Chocobo. All right. Now for the last part. Before we end for the night, we're gonna go through these caves. Lots of enemies. Lots of things for us to hit. Excellent. Look, it's a little mini Zolum. Also, we just learned the flamethrower enemy skill. Limit break. Cross slash on anything that's still alive. Man, this is a big enemy wave. Come on. Wait, what? How did Tifa end up? Oh no, because she has fire elemental. Oh no. Yeah, nope. That's not good. Oopsie. I didn't think about that. Maybe I should take Elemental off of her. Oh dear. Tifa's Elemental actually worked against us. That's not fun to find out. Okay, uh, we'll take elemental and just put it in a spare slot so we can still level it up without necessarily applying it to our hits. Okay. Well, that took a lot out of us. So, most important thing in this entire cave. Long range. Immediately equip long range. That's definitely what we want to do here. Uh, we're going to give it to Cloud. We're going to give it to Cloud for the moment. Because we want long range on Cloud. Later, we're going to give it to Tifa to guarantee that she hits. But for the moment, it's good where it is. Uh, here, Tifa, have a chocobo lure. Um, like it won't actually do us any good, but we can level it up for now. Why not? Got an ether and got a tent. And got a fight. Okay. Uh, ice on everything. Bolt on everything. 
Tifa limit break on whatever you can hit. And eventually we'll get another turn, I assume. Okay, whatever you do, don't use fire though. Limit break, why not? Use another bolt. That should end the fight, I would think. Excellent. Every little bit counts. So, yeah, we actually already got Flamethrower. Steel Grand Gloves. Ooh, there's something we can steal in here. For Tifa, it looks like. Go right from the entrance, pick up ether in a tent, climb up the vines and get long range. So far, so good. I've already done all that. Head left from the entrance, then down to the bottom right corner to find a chest with a mine sword. Well, we do need to still steal some stuff anyway. Ooh, hi there. Um, attack, I guess. Steal things. Come on. There's a specific enemy we want to steal something from, and I don't know what it is. Is it this one? shot at stealing here. See if we can get those grand gloves. I mean, maybe. I need to look up what enemy that is. Gotta find out what it is. Might need the sense command. But first, we gotta make sure we're not dying here. Let's see, what is it? Head left from the entrance, then down to the bottom right hand corner. Yep, there we go. Find source. And I think that's it for this room. That was the right enemy? Okay. Then we'll go back and grab it. But first, we are rudely interrupted by Rude. Just a second. By any chance, are you... Do you know... Who, who I am? The Turks, right? Well, if you know, then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. We handle all kinds of odd jobs, is what you should say. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Sir! It's all right, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then explain, Elena. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short-handed. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. 
Anyway, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed and try to stop you oh, every step of the way. Wait a minute. It's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Why are you blabbing about it? Yeah, <laughs> why are you blabbing about all this in the first place? Elena, you talk too much. Mr. Tsang? No need to tell them about our orders. Yeah, exactly, no need. Sorry, Tsang. I thought I gave you... I thought I gave your order. Now go, don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well, Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's, he who's heading for Junon Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. Reno said he wanted to see who, after the injuries you gave him, healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Well then. Aerith, long time no see. Looks like you're safe from, from the Shinra for a while, now that Sephiroth reappeared. What are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. I won't be seeing much of you, so take care. Strange hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. The Turks are a weird bunch. They really are. Okay. The room north of the exit, you can find an elixir and a high potion. So I guess we're in the right room, and enemies. It's a back attack. Excellent. Unfortunately, Aerith didn't get a turn before they did. But we'll clean this up. Little mini Zolums. Yeah, no, I haven't forgotten the gloves, but we have to find the right encounter first. You said it was those big guys with the ball and chain, right? I was gonna use sense to find out which one is the right one, but I mean, I'm also just perfectly happy hearing you tell me that that's the right one. So there's our elixir and high potion. This area is great for building limits. Yeah, because there's lots and lots of enemies. And that's true, we haven't used our summon yet. Probably should try out my summon. Yeah, all right. Well, the list recommends I start grinding out enemies using our summon, which, by the way, it sounds like an excellent idea. But first, let's find those guys again. Oh, come on. Um, Tifa, do nothing. Summon. Destroy all these guys. Eventually. We gotta sit here for a minute. After we see the new summon, um, I just need to steal those gloves, and then I might do some grinding on my own off stream, but. Oh, wow. Cartoon boom. Ow. 
And that was a super short animation, too. Alright, I'm sold. I like it. I believe this is a wind elemental summon? I think? I'm not sure where the best place to grind out those particular enemies is. But I just want the gloves, and I think that's going to do it for tonight. If I can get them soon-ish, like if I can get an opportunity soon here, then that's good. And that'll be enough. Come on. Then I'll try to do it on stream, but if I can't, if I can't do it, uh... If I can't do it on stream, then that's too bad. I'll just, I'll get the steel off stream. Nice. And it's enough to one-shot these guys. That's excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Beam blade. Yeah, here we go. Come on, give me some swingy boys. There we go. All right. So, bolt everything. Attack these guys. Aerith, keep us healthy. We need to get rid of everything that's not those particular enemies. I don't know if they would survive Chocobo and Mog. So we're gonna have to go at this differently. Uh-oh, that's not the one I wanted you to attack. Yeah, get rid of that thing first. Now, Tifa, steal. There's only one left. Defend. Defend. Steal. Just keep defending till we get it. Come on. I just want the one item here, and we should be good. We have some sad people in our party. But it's okay. Come on. Don't give me that. Ah, here we go. Relying on this game's steel mechanics. Uh, this could take a minute. In fact, I think I'm going to cut a good chunk of this out of the YouTube edit. We're pretty much done anyway. I hope I didn't just do I think I just accidentally told Tifa to deep end there. Whoops. Come on. Finally, we got it. Okay. Now, resume YouTube. <laughs> Limit break. Cross slash. Probably for the last time, because now we were going to switch to Beam Blade. There we go. That actually wasn't so bad. I That could have been way worse. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so as soon as we exit these caves, that should probably do it um, for tonight. What was I going to do now? Yeah, that's right. 
Should probably check out the brand new equipment we literally just stole. Awesome, Grand Gloves. So there's her, now her weapon is on the same tier as Hard Edge and Striking Staff. So excellent, we've just saved ourselves a good amount of money with all this stealing right here, because now I don't have to buy Grand, Grand Gloves later. Oh yeah, Luck Plus is going to be good when we get it. This is a this is definitely a good place to farm though. To farm for like some early limits because we get so many so many enemies. All right. But for now, let's go ahead and heal up. Run on out of here. And then we'll kill anything we find on the way. Um, yeah, I guess. We don't even really need Choco and Mog for this. I wanted to go ahead and use keep his limit break anyway. It's a pretty short cave. We get lots of high potions. Wow. That's pretty good for this part of the game. Um, hello. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, what? You guys can't see this, can you? It just said an unknown exception has occurred. What? Oh, come on. What? Yeah, you see a black screen right now, but... I have an error message. Yeah, I can hear that. Yeah, the soundtrack is playing and it's a black screen. You guys can't see the error message though on this side, but there's an error message that says an unknown exception has occurred. And it just crashed it. Okay, well, I guess off stream, I'll just have to go ahead and uh, redo everything we just did in that cave. That's fine. We didn't lose that much progress. It should be okay. <laughs> Hi, Avalon. Perfect timing. <laughs> Poetic indeed. All right, well, that's going to do it for tonight, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, like I said, I'll just uh, redo everything you just saw off stream and probably some extra farming too. For limits and such. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Aurora, Avalon, Earmouth, Sweet, Judex, Time Tree, uh, Gamer Zone. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. You all are amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and if Ricky is still streaming, we'll go ahead and raid him. Drop some lightnings in his chat. Let me see if I can pull him up real quick here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, he's on. All right. Let's go raid Ricky. He's playing some Halo. 
go say hi. Thank you all so much for coming. Y'all have a good night, and I will see you guys Monday. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.